Hello everyone, welcome back. It is Friday and a glorious day it is. Welcome to my channel, it's Angela and good to have you here. Right, today I am going to be working on my spring journals um, centre spread. So I hope that you are excited to join me um, to put the project together. Now I've been grabbing uh, bits and pieces. Um, I'm using the pink polka dot paper. This is all from my spring splendor kit. I'm using a sheet of paper here that is eight and three quarters by six and a half inches. That's about 22 and a half by 16 and a half centimeters. Um, they don't need to be double sided printed or anything like that. All right, so this piece, uh, you want two of these. I've stitched around here. You don't need to. Um, this is ready to, to put a uh, fit into my page and I'm not going to give you measurements because it depends if you're using a US letter or an A4 size. So this really is um, a quarter of a centimeter shorter than the edge of each side of the page. All right, so I've got two of those. So we'll use those. And then I have also got a sheet, a uh, sheet, a piece of paper here that is really going to be the length of this piece here which is um, eight and three quarters or 22 and a half centimeters and I'm going to fold it in half so really that is just two and a half inches so what's that two and a half inches is six centimeters okay so that's what we got there as far as the paper is concerned I've got my tags for ephemera some other bits of pockets and things that I'm going to share with you as we go along. Um, I'm using mine from my kit but you could make them yourself with any kit. Alright, so um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this page out. Um, mine is a tea stain page. This is actually a digital because I never had any at the time. I do now. The weather is much better so I'm just going to put that up at the top there um, and we'll use this piece over here. So let's start with this side. Let's start with the left. Right, so I'm taking this piece here and um, you could effectively, I'm using this as a base, but you could actually glue this down on three sides and make it a pocket. You could do that. Um, I'm not going to, but I'm going to stick this down quickly and just make it um, a base. Now, excuse the underside. Um, this was a misprint <laughs> and I use all the paper. Um, people often ask me what weight of paper I use. I use 160 GSM if you're in the UK or that part of the world. Or if you use pound weight, I use 60 pound weight um, cardstock. So it's twice the weight of copier paper if you want an idea of what that's about. Right, so um, all those details, are, uh, the types I use, etc., all that stuff. You can find the details on my Amazon favorites tools list. All right, so I've got that stuck down. I'm going to put this one here, but we need to do something there. So we're going to focus on this side. Right now in my kit, I've got my add on kit. Now the spring splendor, I've got two of these types of pockets. So I just want to grab them. I'm going to put those over here like that. Um, and I quite like that we, we've got a nice background for it. I thought that was a little bit more exciting than um, just plain. Now, usually I like to put some kind of lace behind there, but I'm not going to on this occasion. You could also stitch these on here before you attach this, but I'm going to glue them. So what I want to do is just get those in place there. So yeah, nice and simple keeping it simple. I do like stitching, um, but you know, you don't have to stitch for most of the things that we do. Um, you can always glue, you know, it just depends what you have um, around you. Right now, I think I'm going to get wise and just take my ruler here just so that I get this even and uh, use my little grid board, which gosh, where would I be without that? Just lining these up here and uh, just as a gauge so I'm going to get that like that and I hope I've gauged it and it's I mean these don't go in all the way but um, I want to just check yeah that's fine okay let's press it down all right and then the same with this I've just got this 
lined up here and then I'm going to make a little mark so that I've got the gaps here right uh, more or less well this is a bit wider but that's okay I do like to make my pencil markings just so that I don't have to wonder about it once I've got this on so let's just go around the edges quickly I do like these pockets and I like using them in different ways sideways um, you know vertical etc but yeah sometimes it's nice to do something a bit you know alternative to what you normally do so yeah this could be a big collection of storage if you made that a pocket but I have a chunky enough journal at the moment I thought I would just go with that right we're going to put a few decorations on and I'm drawing from um, the bits that I stamped which I'm loving using at the moment um, so we've got these little labels if you haven't seen that go and take a look at that video stamping your scraps um, I, f I think that I might be using that a lot going forward because I found that really useful so we're going to get I'm going to just move that I don't want to go over the flowers too much so we're going to get that there I'm going to get that stuck there the good thing is with the inks and things you decide the colors that you want so that's amazing right so I'm going to get that one just there and then this one there we go perfect all right so um what else could we do do i want to put a flower on it maybe 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 not i'll see right on this one um i've got this here and i think i am going to just get a little bit of a green scrap quickly and a punch that's slightly bigger than this all right so i've just cut out one and a half inch this is one and a quarter this is my green polka dot i just think that that just adds a little bit more excitement so and bring a little softer tone in so yeah we can do all sorts can't we so i'm going to just stick that on there give it a bit of a border there we go i'm going to just stick that on over there it doesn't matter if it goes over the pocket don't be afraid to do that right so i'm going to stick that there could i did bring these i thought maybe these were a little bit more delicate i suppose they don't all have to be the same do they yeah, I prefer these actually. Let's go with this. It's a little bit more delicate. We're going for delicate today. We'll use those another time. <laughs> yeah. There we go. So I'll get those on there and then that side's pretty much done. So let's just let that run down while I am doing the other side. Okay. Right. I'm going to... Um, get my little tags so i've got these two two cute with my ribbons in there and um, i'm going to get those in here and these this one in here once you've got it in once then it's better but it's just because the paper is now lying so flat there we go so that's going to peak just over a little bit which is perfect and then i can just um stick these down which is great not too much bulk on that page so there we go gotta bring in a flower or butterfly could have put butterflies on <laughs> or bees you know there's a garden after all right spring and the garden is beautiful isn't it right there we go that side's done and now we will go to this side so i'm going to just move that up a little bit um going back to our piece of paper so we've got this piece of paper this is like a lovely soft gingham i did print on the underside but pay no attention um, what i've done is you've got it eight and three quarters in length what i've done is i've taken an inch and i've folded it over from the right all right so fold over an inch from the right then you want to measure uh, a further it's three and just over three and three quarters okay so and then the balance will will just tuck under there all right so an inch three and three quarters just over and then what remains is this piece alternatively just fold an inch and then just take this bit and line it up now I haven't got it 
right into the the fold there it's just a hairline's breadth away all right um go like that and you've got like a little pocket it will be when i glue the base all right so there we go and i'm not worried about that or am i i'm gonna rub that off <laughs> it's just pencil so that i could give you the measurements got another pencil best invention ever right there we go all right so we've got that there um and i'm going to glue the side and the base so hold the side with your thumb you don't normally glue i'll find that my best remedy um and we'll just get some glue on the side there and some glue on the bottom there we go can't go wrong with that can you turn that over And there we go. I've, I've had to stress this already just to save time. I'll try and keep these videos about 30 minutes. Right, so there we go. Now we've got a little pocket there like that. Now what I want to do is take this piece, that's the length of this. I'm going to fold that in half um, like that. I'm going to just use my glue and stick it together. This is just to give it some strength um you know it is paper after all and you do want it to last <laughs> so gives us a little bit of strength there right so i've got that pretty much inked up as well except for the middle here yeah okay so i am going to this is the top and your flaps there on the right turn it over um, with your opening at the top and I'm going to just stick this down on top and bottom to make like a type of a little belly band. So just a little bit at the top and a little bit at the bottom. And I'm going to just get that like that. Oh, it's, it's moving all over the place. Right. Got a little bit over of an overhang here, so we'll just trim that off without slicing off the bottom of your pocket there we go right I'll just use this bone folder just to get that nice and flat all right so good good to go there now um i've got a bit of a pocket going on here now what i did was i took uh this pocket from my add-on kit i love these always useful um, to have pockets ready to go. Don't need to do that, but this, this bit here. Fold over those flaps, and the width of this should be the exact size of this. And it is. So there we go. All right, so I'm going to stick that down. It's fast crafting today, isn't it? I paired all of this last night. I got it all ready. I was listening to some YouTube videos and having a good giggle at um, Rachel with her book pages with Shakespeare and the um, inappropriate words, let us say. And I just wanted to tell you, Rach, that um, as an ex-English teacher, Shakespeare was the person that brought up a lot of the slang that we use today. Words like, it's not inappropriate, so I won't um, offend you, like zany and things like that, that the youth use today. That is all from Shakespeare. So yeah, he brought in a lot of the colloquialisms that we use even today, um, which is quite surprising, isn't it? Right, on this underside, got a little pocket on here. Oh, I wanted to put a few decorations, getting waylaid by Shakespeare. Um, I've just got, again, one of these little circles that we, we made the on Sunday, one of these, and one of my little fussy cut flowers. And I'm going to just lay that up there. So I'm going to, I'm going to just go a little bit like that. So let me just get this. I'm going to just draw my pencil there so I can know where I'm going. And then I'm going to get this down. All right. Awesome. So I'll go to our circle. I find that really helpful just to draw a little line there. Um, and now we'll get our little flower on. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. 
get the glue on there quickly oh gosh it's bearably hot again today we've had hot weather um all week since the weekend really i'm not moaning but um i'm not used to it anymore <laughs> i take strain at 24 degrees celsius you know and we were in the 29 and yesterday and the day before was 30 and 31 and i'm like oh my goodness where's the air conditioner right i'm going to put that there i think i just i like that olive that's my new fave right we want a little flower do we do we no it's too big want a small one i'm going to put one of these on just so that it sort of brings the pair uh marries in with across the page there so let's just get the um fabric tack out oops one little petal was bent there we go i hope you guys are all doing well having fun crafting i hope that it's not too hot or too cold where you are i've been enjoying listening to um what reading everybody's comments about the weather and um if i haven't responded to every single one of you i'm trying my best um but I do read them all and sometimes I only leave a heart now because it's just become a full-time job but believe me I'm reading them and I appreciate you making the time to comment so thank you guys um right that's the front and I'm not going to do anything else there you could put a little bit of um stenciling on there should we do that we, should we do that should we do that why not and um I'm going to get that olive. All right, I've got the crushed olive and I'm going to be so brave because this is quite a different, um, <laughs> quite bold compared to the rest. So I'm going to just put very little on uh, just for this top corner. So I'm holding my breath here. Mm, let's see. Ooh, it's okay. <laughs> that's how I speak to my Abby. Oh, bless her. She's taking strain. I've got a little mat for Abby um, that goes in the fridge and it's a cooling mat. So, you know, she's, she's all right. Oh, that's cute. Eh? Right. So we've got that there. Um, we're going to grab our little piece here. And what we're going to do is we're going to stick that flap out. I'm going to just get my fabric tack so it's, it's more forgiving. I want to put some glue on the top of the flap here. Don't go right to the edge um, of the little bunny's face. Or... Right. And then I'm going to try. I think that's about where it needs to be, although I've got a tag, so I'm going to move it slightly down. Um, I'm going to close this and just pull that down so that I've got it where I need it. Okay, and I think that's pretty straight. This is going to bug me. It's going to bug me. Right, so I'm, it looks pretty straight with that edge there. So I've got this nice flip out. I'm now able to stick that onto my page over here so that they're sort of marrying up now. So let's do that. And again, you could do that on three sides and make that a secret pocket. You could do. I'm going to stick the whole thing down. Keeping an eye on what I'm doing. I'm trying to see everything at once. Luckily, the fabric tack, as I say, gives you that moment just to move things around. All right, there we go. All right, so I've opened that up now. Um, this little envelope from my add-on kit, a little envelope, so cute. I love little envelopes. I am just going to take the flap and, oh no, that won't work. So we'll have to tuck it in like that. That's fine. I could put a little something on there um, and I'm going to go grab it. All right, so I've just cut out one of these flowers. For the life of me, I don't know where my circle die cuts have gone but I quite like this seeing we're doing a floral theme and I thought I'll just put it on there so yeah pretty pretty good good idea to look for things when you can't find something else and then you end up finding something you think oh I forgot about that isn't it so it's like Christmas right so we'll just put this on here like that 
hopefully I've got it centralized and how pretty is that gonna look just like that makes it all the difference so <laughs> let's just be mindful now right so that's the top I want to get some glue probably best to put the glue on here isn't it and take out the envelope <laughs> oh Angela so I think it's about there let's hope Right, so we'll get that on, get it on, right, there we go, I like that, right, there we go, I'll just tuck that under there, nice and flat, so that's good, right, and then we've got this bit here, I've got my big tag, which I put these two beautiful ribbons on, love that, love that whole entrance there, and um, we're going to slide that into that one at the top like that and then this little oney is going to go in here along with this one i think yeah so it's coming together and then um i just need to do something over here so i was going to put another little pocket here i think but no, that's what I was going to do. Um, a flower cannot blossom without sunshine and a man cannot live without love. Max Muller. Awesome. I'm going to just put that sentiment there. Now, if I close this, I want it just to stick out a little bit. All right, so we want it about there. So I'm going to just get some glue on the three sides here. For a minute, I couldn't think what I was going to do underneath here. <laughs> definitely losing the plot right let me get that there so that's nice and simple there's my little mark right get that there so we've got another little pocket sweet and then just a little bunny card which i thought could peek out over there so everything is looking beautifully flat shall i put that up there I think I'm going to do that. Right, so let's get that down at the top. And that sort of is more visual, isn't it? Then underneath the flap. So we'll get that down at the top there. Let's just move it down. Not quite to the edge. It will cover up those numbers, and I love these. And then I can just have that there. I'm just seeing when I close what that'll look like. So we'll get that on and then we're done. How sweet and quick was that? Great one for any theme and any center spread of a journal with whatever um, papers you're working with. So yeah, I'm gonna keep it within those lines. There we go. And there we go. Job's done. All right. Well, everyone, thank you so much for spending time with me on this very hot Friday, if it is hot where you are. Um, if you are cold, you need to get one of those big hoodies like I have. That looks like a big, um, what do you call it, sweat top with a hood on. But it goes to your knees and it's made out of this very fluffy, it looks like teddy bear fabric. <laughs> uh, that kept me warm in the winter, big time. I had two of those and I alternated them with the, the wash. But yeah, um, if you're cool, gosh, uh, get all those windows open and stay indoors when it's, you know, the worst of it. Stay well, everyone. I'll see you on Sunday and I'll bring you some uh, another little project. Uh, it's supposed to be cooler weather, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, yeah, and thank you for all your support as always. It always is so very much appreciated. Stay well now and I'll see you soon. Bye.